21 rules kickboxing, over three to nine. Firstly, box down the blue corner from Apollo Martial Arts, Otis Lahav. Three two-minute rounds of K1 action and Apollo Martial Arts, Otis Lahav coming to the blue corner. And listen to the crowd go for Jamie Stinton. Big cheer for the local hero and a big smile from him for the Lincoln Fight Factory. Slightly the taller of the two men as well, Jamie, as they get their final instructions from Mike. So, the slightly taller of the two, red and black shorts for Jamie Stinton, all black for Otis Lahav, and it's a very fast-paced start indeed from these two. Both all deluxe boxers and Lahav looking to come forward strongly. Stinton looking to use that push kick to keep him away, but chops at that inside leg, Lahav. Chops at the lead leg again, pushing forward the whole time. Now Stinton with the rear leg round kick and looks for the right hand. Pushes his man back. And Mike, little smile, I thought he was going to say something, but lets them get on with it. And it's Lahav pushing forward. Looks to spin with the kick, but telegraphs slightly. Comes forward, but takes a short right hand. You saw the head go back there. As now Stinton turns his man and looks to respond to the pace set. Side kick there from Lahav. Round kick Lahav as well. Stinton just moves out of the way. Lahav more of a slip than anything else there. Not a knockdown. Push kick. Lahav then the inside leg kick. Stinton working the boxing. Chops low at that lead leg of Lahav. Moves back then in with the knee. Steps away again. Lahav chops at that lead leg. Looks to double it up. Last 30 seconds of a fast paced opening round. Cardio would tell here because they've both put a lot into this. Round kick just misses from Stinton. Lahav's kick checked. Stinton throws the right hand back. This time it's Lahav that checks. Step in just too close for clean work, both men, as we approach the last 10 seconds. Nice left hand counter by Stinton as Lahav come in. Side kick Lahav. Well, even round for both, really. Stinton had his moments there, looked to keep it at range, looked to respond to Otis Lahav, who set the pace, who kept pushing forward, who's the one looking to initiate and it was a very fast pace so let's see how they get on with this midpoint round round two of three and immediately Lahav sets the pace again looking to push Stinton back Stinton keeps his shape and length and throws the right hand right leg then bursts forward himself so the pace increases if anything here at the start of the second that side kick just a bit low there from Lahav Stinton tried to shake it off but didn't got to go to the neutral corner it was a legitimate sidekick attempt, no malice there, but it did land low, and Mike saying, shake it off. And Mike saying, you've got to try and relax. It doesn't matter if you've got a box, it hurts. My dad, bless him, when this happens, always says, don't rub them, count them. Straight at it again, Stinton looking to shake off the effects. As Lahav pushes forward again, Stinton's kept his shape and composure though in reply. And this has been a good, strong, solid bag. I'm very impressed with Sean Burton's matchmaking here tonight. 50-50 battles all the way here in the opening eight bags. And always puts his own boys in tough, tough battles. Because he was a warrior and he wants his fighters to be the same way. Sean never ducked a bag. One of my favourite fighters to watch back in the day on the circuit because he always gave 110%, loved to entertain. And he got his nickname Boom Boom for a reason. I'll leave you to figure that out. As these two stand toe to toe and battle it out here in the second. Spins with that side kick this time and a half. Breeze deeply as he comes forward. Now he's put a lot of effort into this spinning hook kick from Stinton. 
coming up to the last 30 seconds. Side kick again from Le Havre, and you wonder if the pace he's set is beginning to tell on him. Heavily muscled at the weight, looks in great shape, but he really has put a lot into these opening two rounds, pushing forward. And Jamie Stinton's still there, still got his shape, still firing back left and right. And you can hear someone shout, clear, clear as day, he's tired, he's tired. And I've got to agree. And Stinton looking to capitalise, it's a solid end to the round from the man from the red corner. And he's kept his shape, his focus and his discipline, and it's reaping benefits. As the second round went on, I feel Jamie Stinton took control. For his part, Otis Lahav started so strongly, and I think fatigue just began to play a part in that latter half of the second round. It really is that old cliche, who wants it most here in the third? I think a big third round from either man will take this. And they both start as if they know that. Look at this, they both know that this could be the round that decides this bout. Side kick from Le Havre. Stinton keeping shape, pushing forward, using the combinations. And right to the body from the red corner, looks to drop the axe there. Le Havre, Stinton called him to the ribcage with a boxing canter. Steps in and again, works the body once more. Working that body well, then brings the left up to the head. Just the more accuracy at the moment coming from Stinton. And that solid right hand. Catch, strike, release. Key moments here in the third, and they're in Stinton's favour so far. And he's told you can't travel. It was just about good timing from Stinton. And so was that right hand counter. He's the accurate one here in the second. As Lahar finds something from somewhere, tracks it up and fires forward. Push kick from Stinton. We approach the last minute now as Lahar pushes in again. Stinton turns him. Lahar with the push kick, breathing deeply. Stinton to the body. Steps forward with the push kick. Jumps in with the round kick. Crowd loving this finish from their hometown favourite. Catches Lahar with the knee. Throws the round kick, steps out of the way. Lahav again finds something from somewhere to throw those left and right punches inside the last 30 seconds of a tough, tough battle. They touch gloves. Lahav kicks low. Stinton moves away. Been impressed with the way this young man's kept his shape and discipline. And I think he's going to take him the bout in a close foot contest once again here at the Lincoln Fight Factory gym, which is rammed once more with appreciative fans. Le Havre, full credit, if he is tired, he's kept going, he's dug deep. But again, Stinton with little shots like that for me, just taking this final round and the bag. The the oh, it's a majority. Yeah, I agree with that, it's the right decision in an excellent bag. 